Hi, everybody. This is Mr. B, Hayfield Secondary School. I'm the middle school engineering teacher. What this video is, is a very to the point, it's a very short video to show you how to design a mousetrap car using white box that will go 10 meters or more. Okay. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that. You need to follow along. This is one of those kind of videos that when I do something, you need to do what I do. Be careful not to do anything more, not to do anything less. Um, you may have somebody sitting next to you going, oh, I know what to do. Skip ahead here. Please just follow the video. Okay. Trust me. It's very short. It's very fast. Very to the point. All right. Now, first of all, let's review this little screen right here. You guys have seen it quite a few times. This is what I've had up on the board quite a few times saying, if you take a go to white box and you start a new design and you just fill in the blank of that new design with these settings, you will meet the requirement for a 10 meter mousetrap car. So that is all this video is going to do. Okay. So, um, and I'm, it's going to be very, very quick. All right. So I'm going to move that to the side a little bit. Let me make it just a little bit smaller. And you should already be lo logged into white box. Okay. And if you're logged into white box into the mousetrap car project, your screen should look just like mine here. Okay. So it, uh, this would be a good place for me or you to pause the video so that you can get to this step. Once you're at this step, you're logged in, you're going to go to engineering. We're going to start designing this car <clears throat> and we're going to design a brand new car. Do not take an existing design that you have. You want to start from scratch so we know exactly what we're starting with. Okay. So please do exactly as I say, and you'll be done in less than two minutes. All right. Trust me. All right, we're going to go to file manager. We're going to do file. And are we going to open existing design or no, we're going to do a new design. Okay. And we're going to name our design, Mr. <clears throat> Mr. B's 10 meter car. Okay. Mr. B's 10 meter car. I want you to name your car the same way, your name, and then just 10 M car. All right. I'll be able to pick it out really easily that way. All right. Start new design. Click on that. Come on. A little slow today. What? Oh, it doesn't like. Oh, I can't use. I can't use that symbol right there. There we go. OK, so here we go. Please pay attention and just do exactly what I do. Let's first of all, look at the design that is a default design that white box gives us just by clicking on all the view icons for these four design areas. This is what it looks like. Okay. Now let's look at the performance of this, this car, just by clicking on the view icon perform, for performance. You see it does work, um, but it only goes a little over four meters. Does it meet the 10 meter minimum requirement? All right, we're going to fix that very quickly. And we're going to fix that just by using the, um, the settings over here on the right in this screen under prototype design. We're just going to fill in the blank. Okay. Honestly, I'm not kidding. It's going to be very, very fast. Okay. So let's do that. Let's close the performance icon so we can uh, have a better view of the screen. And let's just go down the list first in the chassis design area. So let's go to chassis and turn on the toolbar for the tools for that. The kit is the rally and it's balsa wood. So that one's already checked for us. The length we want to be 200 millimeters. That's all we have to change in here. We click apply, always click apply. Notice the car looks exactly the same. It's just shorter. Let's move on to the front axle. Front axle, let's turn on the tools for front axle. All right. Now over here, it's telling me I want to change the axle to brass. Let's change the axle to brass. It's steel right now. We're going to change it to brass. 
The bearing we want it to be plastic. Well, there's no bearing at all right now. We're going to change it to a plastic straw and we're going to change the wheels to CDs. CDs, all right? Let's go ahead and shorten the axle to 80 millimeters because that's what it says to do right here. And the wheelbase, that's the distance between the front axle and the rear axle is 180, all right? And I just click apply. Now here's something kind of fun to do just real quick. Look at performance. It already has had Pretty, a pretty nice little improvement of performance. We've gone from just about four meters up to six meters, and all we did was change the front wheel, okay? So we're gonna make the same changes to the rear axle, because see how this in the screen says front and rear axle? So let's just turn on the tools for the rear axle, all right? Um, <clears throat> So rear axle right here needs to be brass. The bearing needs to be a plastic straw. This is just like the front axle. And the wheels need to be the CDs. And we're going to set the axle to 80 millimeters. And this is one thing that's different with the rear axle. We're gonna set the position of the rear axle from the rear of the car we need to set that to 10 millimeters. Click apply. Now look what has happened. I left the performance window on there so you could see. We are at 11.4 millimeters. Now, uh, so you're done. You have a 10 meter car. I said, I said we were 11.4 uh, meters, not millimeters you're done, okay? Um, there are some other settings on here that um, for the lever arm under mouse trap assembly, okay? I said, make sure the lever arm length is 100 and the angle is 180. Well, as it turns out, the default value for the lever arm is 100 and the angle of zero it works about the same as eight, uh, 180, so you really don't even have to make those changes, but you can just for consistency. And notice you are done. Now, if you don't have this as performance for your car, and if your car does not look like this, okay, you did not follow the instructions and do the same thing I did. The main thing might be you did not start with a new design, okay? Remember we said go file new, all right? If you started with an existing design, there could be other things that you set in here that are affecting uh, what your uh, mousetrap car is doing. Start with that new design, rally kit 200 millimeters, um, brass axle with a straw bushing and CD wheels. That is really the main thing. If you set brass axle, plastic straw, and CD wheels, you will have a car that does over 10 meters. So we are done. If your car is not performing at 10 meters, then uh, you did something wrong. You need to go and backtrack and figure out what you did wrong, okay? So good luck and um, should be able to knock this out very quickly, okay? Oh yeah, make sure you save it. Save, save working copy, okay? Good luck.